Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brooke. I just waved again. What is wrong with me? I've now waved twice. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna start this over. Hi guys, um, today I'm just gonna, you know what, whatever. Today we're gonna be talking about this sponge right here. So this like triangle diamond pyramid shaped sponge. I am honestly like super excited to try out. This is from Stands Out Beauty Company. It says it's a multifunctional blending tool designed to apply a streak-free airbrushed finish to your complexion. It says pro tips, use a large rounded side for pressing and rolling foundation into the large areas of the face, such as your cheeks, chin, and forehead. Use a triangular side for applying concealer and powder to the under eye area and then use a flat side for perfecting your contour under your cheekbones, jawline, and along your nose. Um, it says the warmth of your skin is all that is needed for the Stands Out Beauty Sponge to reach its optimal softness. Now this is dry, so what I just like, this is it, just like dry. No water, I'm gonna show you guys it damp here in a second when I get up to go wet it. It's recommended to use this sponge damp for the first three to five uses while it's in its like break in period. And then it says after its first three to five uses, like water's optional. It says on this little card, um, it's like your sponge has like a break in period, just like your first pair of like great shoes. I thought that was really cute. And then on this card, hello, it kind of just shows like how you can clean the sponge. I thought that was cool. And now we're just gonna show, I'm just gonna like show you guys how it goes from like this and then we're gonna go wet it. And then we are gonna put on foundation, concealer, contour, powder, blush. I'm probably gonna do all cream products today, powder and then we'll just go from there. I have not tried this yet. Uh, so it's gonna be a first impressions and I'm super excited. So I'm gonna take my phone into the bathroom with me and we'll do Brooke cam on the phone. Let's go. Okay, so I got it damp and I don't think it grew in size. So it comes in, okay, so I lied, it grew in size. It, when you order it, it comes in this container and it comes like it perfectly fits in this thing. And now that I'm like putting it up to this thing, it grew a little bit. Like if I like, okay, maybe it didn't because now it fits in there like perfectly. I don't think it grows. Maybe if I adjust my brightness, I don't think it grows but it's damp now. This is what it looks like. I'm turning this back up. So I don't think it grows, but it's damp now. That's, that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna pull out my concealer, my foundation, my contour and everything like that. And we'll get into our full face. Okay, so I have a full face in front of me. I am just gonna go ahead and apply primer with my fingers just because I like to push it in with my fingers this is the AOA wonder skin perfecting blur primer it has like little gold flecks in it and I'm using products that I know like really well so I'll know if this sponge is picking up product or if it's like taking away any of the coverage from the foundation or the concealer or anything like that, but I do have like a liquid highlighter, I have a cream a blush, contour, all that. So my foundation, I am going in with this one from CoverGirl. It's the Ready Set Gorgeous one. And I have gotten a little tan. I have no idea if this is even my shade or not anymore. Now it said this side for foundation. what the sponge looks like so far. Whoa. Okay, it would help if I had a mirror open. 
The sponge feels really nice so far. It's very soft. This foundation is so not my shape. It almost doesn't feel like a sponge, like it kind of just feels like I'm holding like picking up quite a bit of product um, I feel like I'm gonna have to go in with a little bit more foundation and typically what I had put on the back of my hand would have covered everything on my face and even a little bit down into my chest um, this foundation is so not my shade and that's so funny I haven't filmed since before surgery and that was a couple weeks ago and I have been out in the sun since then and well your girl got a little you know bronzer will fix it we're good so this is a little hard to hold compared to like a uh, like a typical beauty blender that has a little bit more of a shape and more firmness to it while this is typically like this is very squishy now um, I haven't tried it dry I will try it dry after this said like three to five uses do it damp but I do really like it it's pushed the product into my skin really nicely so far and this is only foundation like, my face isn't streaky at all. It just has picked up a little bit of the product and my hair is absolutely driving me crazy. So we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. the triangle That's a really nice shape for underneath your eyes. I really like that for underneath your eyes, this triangle. So this was the foundation side, this was the concealer side. My face looks really, really good so far and I am having a lot of problems with acne at the moment. You guys saw it at the beginning of the video. I'm very self-conscious at the moment. So I feel like my face looks very, very good right now. And lately I have been using more brushes for my cream products so I'm very happy with this sponge so far and now we're gonna move in to contour. 
for. So on the card, it doesn't really say anything about, I can't find the thing. Um, it doesn't really say anything about contour. It says under your contour, you could use a flat side. So I'm just gonna use like the concealer or the foundation side. By the way, the contour I'm using is the Maybelline Master Contour. It's the V-shaped duo stick. It's a contour and a highlight, but I don't really like the highlight side, so I just do the contour side. And this seems to be blending it out really nicely. Okay, I like the flat side for contour. Okay, now for blush, I'm probably gonna use the flat side as well. So this is an e.l.f. blush. There's literally nothing on the bottom. Just says out. Oh, on the size it says Rose Royalty. I think one of my dogs just ran into a wall, so if you just heard a thud, I think it was a dog. I hope it was a dog and not my sister or my mother. Okay, so that applied really nicely. And then the last thing we are, the last lick actually, we're gonna do powder and then we'll apply the liquid highlighter. So I have my Cody Airspun and I'm gonna dip the flat side of the sponge and go up underneath. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a close-up really fast before we move on to the liquid highlighter. shimmer highlight and I'm going to take the tip of the triangle side put a little bit on my hand
Okay, so I'm gonna go finish up my powder products and then I will be right back. Okay, so my makeup is all done. I'm now going on to their Instagram to show you guys what their Instagram looks like and that. So their Instagram is just stands out beauty. They have reviews on there. They have different photos, different reviews. Um, I think I just said reviews twice. They have a link to their website, which is just standsoutbeauty.com. So you can go on there and order the sponge. It says free shipping on all orders, US orders, no code required. It says buy now. Click it, it's loading. The sponge is $20 and then you do get free shipping in the US. I do recommend this sponge to you guys. I think it's great. Um, this sponge is the same amount as the Beauty Blender. I have never tried the actual Beauty Blender, um, like the, the brand Beauty Blender typically. I just use like the off-brand like Beauty Blenders. This one is I think from like CVS. Um, I, I do like this. I will continue to use it. If you guys want me to use this, sponge whenever it's damp like after like my fifth use with this because this was my first one and it does say to use it damp for the first oops three to five times I can use it dry in a tutorial if you guys want me to do that comment down below let me guys let me guys let me know what you guys think I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye